Tubers is more from True Seeker. And I made Soul 650. As always, I'll give you all the links to the pictures. This picture just seems strange to me right off the bat. Uh, especially with all of this. I mean, this is, they call it mountains, but come on. It's just, uh, it's just an artist having fun. But uh, I'm going to show you what I did. I just uh, took the picture, inverted it, and darkened it up just a tad. That's all you got to do. It looks to be all types of piping. This looks to be like some type of circle machinery with uh, this circle connectors. There's more piping. Another piece of pipe that comes all the way over. Then it gets really strange. I mean, look at this. Look at the pipe coming down. Look at a bend in that pipe, and then it comes up. Looks to be something up there. More piping back here. Now, there's no way that these are mountain ranges. I mean, these things are just created. I've, you know, I'm no expert, but that's what I've been saying from day one. Then you come down to this area here. Look, there's poles coming straight up. There's all types of bent piping. And look at this thing. Looks to be some type of structure with two perfect windows and there's another another structure maybe these are like habitats or something I I got a video that goes back a little bit that shows those uh, you know the modules that NASA has those circular like balls with the windows I was going through thumbnails one day and I found them in the foreground and it's pretty damn clear. I mean, they're there. Either that's in the desert here, or they're there. But, of course, you'll never get an answer. I mean, look at this stuff that they just blurred out. I mean, you can see there's... There's one circle, another, another. There's all types of structure hidden in this picture. stuff hidden in the background. I mean, it's just just crazy how they get away with this. The, you know, they, I mean, look at this thing. It looks like a perfect triangle. You know, people talk about, I know this is a little far out there, but I'm going to step out there and say it. You know, people say, oh yeah, triangular craft. Look at this thing just laying there. It's got some type of uh, pod or something right in the center. But look at this thing, and it has to be huge. I mean, I'm talking big. But unless you, uh, you know, invert these pictures and really start examining them, which is NASA's banking that nobody's doing, you're not going to see this kind of stuff. I mean, we all know that parts of these images are inverted and other parts aren't. You know, they're, they're cutting, chopping pictures up. I believe they're using satellite imagery, drones, whatever, you know. But not everything we're seeing is from that rover. And that's just my opinion. All right, and there was one other thing I wanted to show you in another picture, and I'll give you all the links. Okay, we're back. Now, same thing I did. I'll give you both links to both pictures. Downloaded it, inverted, and 
and uh, darkened it. That's it. Look at this. Now, don't pay attention to this white stuff, and this is just cut in a lot of this here, so. But this is just the mask. But look at this. Look at how these look like perfectly cut blocks. This looks like a perfect pipe. You see the connectors? There's connectors on this pipe. It looks like it goes into the mountain. That's maybe like a railway or something. It goes, you know, a road. Look at this strange thing here. Almost looks like it has a light shining down on it. <laughs> look at this pipe. And then look at this, what's right next here. It looks to be like some type of container. You know, maybe, uh, you know, railway, you know, those rail cars or something. It's got a connector on it. You know, look at this. This stuff is really there in the picture. All I'm doing is inverting and darkening it up. That's it. Taking some more. Uh, look at this. There's another structure. Look at it. It's got an opening. Looks like it's got a carving on top of it. Put in here, look. Looks to be another opening. See, that I believe, and then down here looks to be another opening. These, I believe, are the size that we could walk into. See, down here looks to be another statue. You see? You see all these carvings? See what they're hiding underneath this white? Close, I can get for you. See this? I'm really starting to like this new screen. I could really get in really deep and show you. I mean, look at this stuff. How does this stuff make any sense? Look at this carving. I mean, you can see the face. I mean, you can see it. I mean, these pictures are definitely inverted, and the scale, they really got us thrown off on the scale. Let's see, let's come over here. Paying from one end of the mountain to the other. Now you see this? Look at this crisscross pattern in here. I'm not going to use the pointer. I'm, I'm using two hands so I could steady pretty good to show you. I use, uh, everybody knows I use a handheld. For me, I get more detail, and for now, until I uh, buy my Mac. Um, this is, it's what works for me. And I'm going to tear NASA apart with this camera. I'm not stopping, I'm not going anywhere. And neither is anybody else on the Mars team. The work that's coming out of us now is incredible. I mean, there's groundbreaking stuff coming out. I mean, Chris from Mars Anomalies and Olympus did a collaboration the other day. It was just insane. You put two guys together like that with their Photoshop knowledge, it's amazing. And then there's a guy that's got a channel, uh, Space Cadet. Um, 
I really like some of his older videos. Look at this thing. Because he gets into some detail on how to, uh, you know, how they're doing what they're doing. I mean, lately he's, uh, you know, he's talking about that there's some type of electrical grid and stuff, and I don't see it. I don't agree with that view, but hey, everybody's got, you know, an opinion. That's the great thing. Look at all this stuff back here. He's got a lot of experience with photos, just like the guys from, uh, you know, Will, Amazon UK, Amazon KC, I'm sorry, um, Chris from Mars Anomalies, Olympus Sky, uh, Olympus Sky and uh, Mars, uh, Mars Anomalies, I mean, that was just incredible what they did the other day, I really loved it. Look at these, they look like statues standing up. I really like what they did. That collaboration thing is a cool thing. I don't know if the computer I'm working on is fast enough to do that with somebody, but... I just gotta say, I really enjoyed that. Look at this stuff. I mean, you can see the structures in here. Look at this opening. Here they ghosted something out. That's what Chris was telling me from uh, Mars Anomalies to pay more attention to. You know, not to pass over some of that stuff that's ghosted out. stuff just laying at this entrance. I believe you would just drive, you could drive vehicles right into this. Looks to be another car view. I would love to see what uh, Chris Is what they could pull out of this picture because it's probably insane. I mean, there's a lot back here. I'm just showing you raw. This is raw. There's no uh, look at this object up here, it's leaving a shadow. There's another statue card down here. Look at that. This is why they invert this. We don't want you seeing this stuff. Look at this opening. You can see it's got what, maybe antennas or something coming out at the top. There's openings, entrances all over this ridge. say what's hidden here. This is no uh, it's pretty clear to me at least what they're doing. I mean what would stack up? Look at these. It's all it looks like uh, balls stacked up into a triangle or containers or something.
Oh, I missed this. Look at this. Perfect diamond or square. And look at what they uh, blurred here. Maybe we're all crazy. Maybe this is all rocks. But it's highly doubtful. Because you wouldn't have to be, excuse me, inverting the image. And that's what NASA's doing. Look at this strange thing. Alright guys, that's the picture, that's the link, as always I'll put it in, you don't have to bother with that, but this is the nonsense that they're giving us, so we're going to do our best to deal with it properly and try to get some of this stuff out there to the public. Hey, if you like it, don't forget guys, give a thumbs up as always, if you don't, that's fine. I have no problem with you not liking it. You know, it's not for everybody. And, uh, hey, I'll see you on the next one. True Seekers out.